Hey, I'm Jamie Blaine, and this is a brave hard moment from my life. I'm a, a psychiatric crisis responder, which means I go out in the night and talk to people who are suicidal or addicted or just at the end of their rope. And it was early on in my career, and I got a call late one night from this woman's sister uh, who was in a bad way. And I went out to see her, and she lived in this rundown house way on the outskirts of town. And when I got there, the front door was open. So I did what I was supposed to do, which is call the local sheriff and ask for backup. But they said, ah, Jamie, we're, we're busy tonight. It's going to be at least a couple of hours before we can get somebody out to you. And, and I felt like the situation was probably more dire than that. So um, I walked through the door. And it was this rambling house that had been added on to a lot. And when I got in the far back, I see this woman sitting between the bed and the wall with a pistol like this. And you know, I thought, God, I, you know, I would rather be anywhere than right here. I, I wanted to run out of that house so bad, I'll, I'll get a job at the grocery store anywhere but doing this. Um, but I knew I couldn't do that. So I prayed this really fancy prayer that went something like, God, geez, come on. I mean, if you really want me to do this, you're going to have to help. Or, the, or this is wrecked. I can't do it. And about that time, the woman spotted me and she started to cry. So I walked in and I remember there were cats everywhere and I'm allergic to cats and she had a ceiling fan that had a blade missing and every time it would wobble around, the lights would flicker. So I, I sat in this, she had a green bean bag with a peace sign on it on the other side of the bed. So I sat down in it and she looked at me and said, what are you doing here? And I said, this is what I do. I drive out at 3 o'clock in the morning and listen to whatever story people have to tell. And after a long time, long time, she took a deep breath and she put the pistol down. I don't know if I've ever had a truly brave moment except for grace and help. I mean, I've prayed that prayer a thousand times on a thousand different nights. And you pray to be able to help somebody else, but what you find out is that we help each other. 